In today's video, I will be demonstrating an integration that aligns and connects security vulnerabilities with developers. To demonstrate this, I will integrate vulnerabilities and bugs between White Hat Sentinel and Atlassian Jira. The benefits of integrating security vulnerabilities and development are that it synchronizes artifacts across the lifecycle, allowing security vulnerabilities to flow as work items for developers. It also supports real-time reporting of the status of security vulnerabilities and improves security and compliance by providing traceability between security vulnerabilities and their fixes. Also, developers can use their tool of choice to view and resolve a security vulnerability and keep any comments or updates they have within there while they fix the vulnerability. So in this demo, we can imagine a security analyst who is using White Hat. And we can also see a developer who's using Jira, and we can flow a DAST vulnerability from White Hat to Jira as a bug so that the software developer can work on this vulnerability within their own tool. We can also see in the TaskTop integration hub within the landscape view that we have the same breakdown of the flow here, where White Hat is flowing the DAST vulnerabilities as bugs to Jira. Let's take a look at our integration in action. As you can see here, this is the White Hat Sentinel tool. It has a long list of vulnerabilities that have been found in one of our sites. Let's go down here and let's select this one, number 3111355. Now this one is one we want to put as a priority. So let's put in a tag here as priority so we can be able to easily find it within Jira when it flows over. So once we've saved this tag, let's take a look in here and see what the vulnerability actually looks like. And as we go over to Jira, we can now see all of the vulnerabilities from that one site have flown over here. Let's go find that one vulnerability that we tagged over in White Hat. If we go to recently updated, we have a few recently updated vulnerabilities that have flowed over here. And I remember it being cross-site scripting was a vulnerability that we looked at in the first place. So let's go into the Jira bug itself. And as you can see in here, the priority tag is showing up as it was put into White Hat. We also have the White Hat URL that will link us directly to the vulnerability that we found in the first place. So let's mark this as done because the developer was able to fix the problem. Let's also put a tag in here to show that we want to retest this vulnerability. As it's been fixed, we want to make sure that it is showing as fixed in White Hat. Let's click on the URL, and that will send us over to the White Hat tool where we can see the original vulnerability. Now if we go over here and down to vulnerability history, we can see that a tag was put on here, a tag called retest, which is the tag that we put onto the Jira bug over in Jira. We can also see that a retest of this vulnerability was requested after putting the tag on there. So this shows that once we marked it as done in Jira, we were able to move over here and see that a retest had been requested based off of that action. And we also saw that the tag was able to flow over as well. By using TaskTop Integration Hub, we were able to synchronize artifacts across the lifecycle. We were able to improve the security and compliance by providing traceability between the security vulnerabilities and their fixes. And we also allow the developers to use their own tool of choice to be able to make updates. If you would like more information on what tools would benefit from TaskTop Integration Hub, please visit www.tasktop.com.